Uh, yes, that's just in line with the third law of arcanodynamics. Excellent. Well met, Adept. I believe I may have a task for you. New members of the lifeblood of the Mage's Guild, especially for retrieval missions. I've received word about a possible store of ancient knowledge in a ruin nearby. I'd like you to retrieve it for me. Along the coast to the north lies the alien ruin known as Silum. If you please, investigate the ruin and bring back any interesting books you can find. The ruins of Silum are a dark and dangerous place. Tread carefully, Adept. I am the master of Incanabula, the keeper of tomes. I've come here to inspect the local Arcaneum, the guild's library. I've dedicated my life to expanding our guild's knowledge. Standards must be kept. We have ears everywhere, Adept. An intelligence report fell into my hands that mentioned these tomes. We are neutral in the war for Cyrodiil, and proud of it. That doesn't mean we don't take an interest when the Ring of Daggers notices something. The intelligence arm of the Daggerfall Covenant. They enforce economic and political issues for King Emmerich. My understanding is that the leader, a woman named Copper, got the position when she called in some kind of marker from His Majesty. I don't know. It's always a delicious mystery cracking open a book for the first time. They could be anything from ancient recipes for stew to high arcana, even racy journals penned by elven poets. Well done! I am Shalador, young one, and I think you'll do not- Return that book to Velost. Tell her fire will show her the words. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Well done! You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? What happened? Shalador? Labyrinthian's father, the spell mirror's forger. Are you speaking truly? And, uh, this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? The spell rites of the First Era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not, the pages will not burn. Shalador was the most famous archmage of the First Era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. Shalador felt that one should earn the right to be called mage. He created many trials to test the spellcasting metal of men and myrrh. His loudest detractors were those who failed those tests. have never been better. <laughs> what has the fire revealed? Complex indeed. 
Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here, this one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. They'll focus your magicka, attune your life energies, and draw him to this place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? To the center. First, we attune your spirit to Shalador's. Ready. When you're set, use the orb before you. Knew it. I was right in choosing you. I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. What I hope to accomplish is difficult. Perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. A storm rages towards us, Adept. War has come to Tamriel, and the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven. A sanctuary where they may study in peace. I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos and magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. They are being held in the place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. It is a realm of the mad god, Sheogorath. Stand by my side, and I will open a portal. Be careful. Shagorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. To protect my legacy, while this guild was... After my time, I accomplished much in Tamriel. I founded schools of magic, oversaw the construction of the Great Maze, and bore my spell mirror into battle. I know it. I laid powerful enchantments on my final resting place. When my legacy is threatened, I'm drawn back from Aetherius. My presence here is proof enough. The Three Banners' War is a threat to every mage in Tamriel. I won't waste my time recounting his antics. Suffice it to say he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost. And my sanctuary, Ivea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentices screaming all the while. He's known as the Daedric Prince of Madness. The Mad God. The Dunmer call him one of their four corners of the House of Troubles. And he's earned the title a thousandfold. Don't take him too lightly. Madness comes in many forms. Sheogorath encompasses them all. He rules the Shivering Isles, but often takes an active interest in our world. That usually doesn't end well. Yes, an example of Sheogorath's humor. There are those that find his madness amusing. I am not one of those people. The Mad God would just as soon serve you an aged cheddar as he would flay the skin from your bones. Remember that. Oh, how quaint. A mortal. Well, what is it? Here for some noble purpose, no doubt. Spell books? How pedestrian. As it happens, I'm feeling particularly charitable at present. I'll allow you to enter. After. After a test of your resolve. This isn't a lending library. If you want the spell books, you'll have to earn them. A portal has been opened, just behind you. Close it, and I'll grant you passage. Close the portal if you can, though you may want to deal with those scamps first.
Interesting. Well, I suppose. That was unexpectedly competent. You'd make an adequate house servant. I don't suppose you'd consider it. The pay is meager, but the fringe benefits are appalling. Pity. The tomes you seek are beyond the door at the top of the stair. Once you're outside, follow the path. Just doing the master's will. I will open the door for you. Oh, and mind the scamps. The little imps adore fresh flesh. Such children. Right this way. And please, try not to make a mess of things. Happy adventuring! I'm so glad we've had this time together. One must usually go to a public execution for conversation of this caliber. Oh, just one of the many shrines to my lord. The common rabble know it as Cheesemonger's Hollow. Sheer Gorath is fond of it, but rarely graces it with his presence. I am Lord Sheer Gorath's Chamberlain. I handle his affairs and look after the Shivering Isles while his lordship is away. Are you lost? Do you know nothing of the place you've come to? The Shivering Isles are Lord Sheer Gorath's realm in oblivion. To tell you more would, as my lord puts it, spoil all the fun. Someone to play with ya! Nord and I go way back. I know what he wants. Indeed, I do. Ha! His island. He wants to steal it back. <laughs> How I love a challenge. Now, where's the sport in that? I tell you what. I'll give you one buck in exchange for your heart or lungs. Your choice. No, wait. I have a better idea. Let's have a contest. A contest wrapped in a mystery with an enigma glaze. Oh, what fun we'll have! A few tasks, the odd death trap. Nothing so difficult to say, reassembling the Staff of Chaos or rebuilding the new Midium. <laughs> Take the first book, Puppy Killer, and I'll give you an additional book for each test you pass. Are you game? Excellent! Cheese and cabbage for everyone! But wait, we should inform Shelly Dorable of our deal. With any luck, he'll die of embarrassment all over again. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face. If it's precious enough, I might hang it on the wall. What's the meaning of this? Sheer Gorath! You remembered. Ah, Shalador. You never ride, you never visit. Just now I made a deal with your lackey here. How long have you wanted those books? Eternity? 
Your deals are hardly fair. What farce have you contrived this time? Think of it as an adventure! <laughs> and don't worry, I've got a surprise for you too. I put a tiny curse on these books, just a small one. <laughs> Long story short, Shal, you can never read these books. Curse you, mad god! Boring! Be more imaginative, Shal. Like, curse you, mad god! May you become cheese eternally gnawed by skeevers! Uh, unfortunately, I have no more time for constructive criticism. Do stay in touch. Curse the mad god. That's true. I'll send you back to Tamriel then. Are you ready? You radiate an aura of power. Does this mean you have the books? Tests? Well, that's a start, I suppose. What of Shalador? He was drawn away from here in a burst of light. Not good, not good. I'll start translating this right away, but I hope Shalador returns to help. Xarxas is backside. Then this is going to take a while. Check in at a guild hall from time to time. I'll leave word for you when I've finished. In the meantime, keep an eye out during your travels. There are many lost tomes scattered throughout Tamriel. Who knows, any one of these books may help us restore Shalador's lost island haven. Pardon me, I must begin this translation. These runes? Fascinating. Terrifying, isn't he? The will and attention of a child with the power of a Daedric prince. Well, look on the bright side. You're still upright on two legs. You're not inside out or bright purple or afflicted with new, angry limbs. It could be worse. <laughs>